This presentation is about the corkscrew rule, which allows us to determine the direction of the magnetic field of a current carrying conductor. Magnetic field is a vector, so it has a direction. We tend to describe magnetic fields using field lines. Magnetic field vector is always tangent to those field lines and in the direction of the field lines. Now, the corkscrew rule will allow us to find the direction of those field lines. In the case of permanent magnets, it is relatively easy to determine the direction of the field lines. It is out of the north pole into the south. So, out of north into south. How do you know which one is which? Well, if the magnet can freely move, it will naturally align along the north-south direction. So, the end of the magnet that points towards the geographic north is going to be called the north pole. The other one is going to be the South Pole. In this case, red is the North Pole. Let me demonstrate the corkscrew rule using an apple and a corkscrew. So if I turn the corkscrew in a clockwise direction from my perspective, it goes in, into the apple. If I turn it anti-clockwise or counterclockwise, it comes out of the apple. This general pattern can be found in a few other circumstances in daily life, let me show you a few examples. So if I turn the screwdriver in a clockwise direction, clockwise, the screw is going into the block. But if I turn it into an anti-clockwise direction, the screw is coming out of the block. In this next example, I'm going to use a drill. So if the drill is rotating clockwise, it's going into the wooden block. But if it's rotating anti-clockwise, comes out of the wooden block. The tap here can allow the water to flow through this pipe. So if I turn it anti-clockwise, is moving backwards, so it will allow the flow of water. If I then turn it clockwise, it will move forward and block the flow of water. So, anti-clockwise, the water flows, so anti-clockwise is coming in this direction. Clockwise, it's going in that direction and blocks the flow of water. In this example, if I turn the cap of the bottle, anti-clockwise from my perspective, is going to come up. And if I turn it clockwise, it's going to go down. Same with the corkscrew. If you turn it anti-clockwise, it's going to come up. If you turn it clockwise, it's going to go downwards. The next question is, how do we find the direction of the field lines in the case of a coil or a linear conductor when you run a current through them? There are two aspects connected to the corkscrew rule. One is the direction in which the corkscrew rotates, and the other one is the direction in which the corkscrew moves. Each of these two aspects can be associated with either the direction of the current or the direction of the field lines, depending on the circumstances. Let's start with the linear conductor. So let's assume that there is a current running through this conductor in the direction indicated by the arrow. The field lines are circular field lines surrounding this conductor. But the question is, what is the direction of those field lines? Is, is it clockwise or is it counterclockwise or anticlockwise? If we take the corkscrew and we rotate the corkscrew in such a way that it moves in the direction of the current, the rotation of the corkscrew will give us the direction of the field lines. So in this case, from my perspective, it's going to be clockwise. Of course, if you change the direction of the current, it's going to be anticlockwise. The next example is a coil of wire, like this one. I'm going to try to use the corkscrew rule to find the direction of the field lines. In other words, we want to identify the north pole and the south pole of this coil. Let me reset the camera to have a better look at the setup. I have here a simple circuit made of a battery and a coil. I'm going to run a current through this coil and try to find out the direction of the field lines using the corkscrew. 
This terminal is connected to the plus of the battery and this terminal is connected to the minus of the battery. So the current, the conventional direction of the current is from plus to minus. So in this particular loop, the current flows this way. So if I want to try to rotate the corkscrew in that direction, the corkscrew is going to move out of the coil. So that means that the direction of the field line here is out of the coil. So this must be a north. Therefore, the other one must be a south. Let's try to test that with the compass. So the north of the coil attracts the south of the compass. And the south of the compass attracts the north pole. So therefore, the field lines are out of north into south. Now let's change the direction of the current by flipping the battery. In this case, this is a positive terminal. This is the negative terminal. So the current goes from positive to negative. So it's going to flow through the loop in this direction. If we try to turn the corkscrew in that direction, it's going to go into the coil. So turn it in the direction of the current, the corkscrew is going to go into the coil. So that means that the field lines are into this pole and obviously they have to be out of that pole. So this must be a magnetic south that should attract magnetic north. This is a magnetic north, so it should attract a magnetic south. There are a couple of other ways of finding the direction of the field lines, such as the right hand grip rule. The most important thing is for you to understand one rule and be able to apply it in various circumstances. That's all for now.